Guys, look at our little visitor. He came to hang out. He they eat the corn off the corn stalks that um that I put up every year. So it was um pretty rainy today. It's actually raining right now. So I didn't want to like venture out of the car. <laughs> But I wanted to show you guys, uh, this is my little spot of Lake Michigan, and um, there is the pier down there. There's a beach down, like kind of between me and the pier, that's a pretty popular spot. But uh, there's a lot of people right now down there, despite the waves and the fact that there has been warnings not to go in the lake today because of how bad it is. Um, We've actually had people, like, we've had drownings lately, and, I mean, I know water comes with drowning and all, but, like, we've had quite a few because of people ignoring the, um, the warnings not to go out when it's bad, and today there is, you can't see them because literally the whole group just pulled in, I wish I'd gotten it, but up in the sky there was a ton of, like, kites, and they had, um, like the surfboard, I forget what it's called, kite surfing. They had those guys down there because apparently, despite warnings, it's perfect weather for that. Um, I'm not brave enough to do that, but <laughs> anyway, this is this is my little piece of Lake Michigan. Just figured I would, I don't know, pop that in and show you guys on this nice cloudy day. I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. I just came back outside because I was going to pick up Damon and look there's another little guy eating more corn like David just threw that out there and these guys have another piece of my corn and they took it to the neighbor's house <laughs> I have to go get more corn I think they've eaten most of the corn off the stock already <laughs> they are hungry this year Anyways, thought you might like to see my little guys out in the yard. It's starting to rain again. <laughs> or still, I guess. Oh! He's looking for shelter. I love these guys so much. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. You guys, I am a firm believer that Myers has everything. Look, these were the pumpkins that we found at the um, pumpkin place. And these are the pumpkins here at Myers. I know you're not interested in like my whole shopping trip but I just found it funny that they had these and they're really cute and I really want some more of them. <laughs> hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. I am coming to you on day five of Vlogtober. So happy October, happy Vlogtober. Uh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pretty sleepy today. Um, it was my day off with my husband and we didn't do a whole lot but I'm pretty sleepy um how are you guys doing <laughs> um let's see I did get a little bit filmed today that hopefully you have already seen uh we had some fun with the squirrels who have started to take notice that I got my um corn stalks up in the front yard and what else did we do today? I went grocery shopping um, with Damon and worked on my bags, on my um, dragon egg bags, which if you follow my Instagram is on my Instagram. <sighs> I'm so glad to be done with the batch that is done right now and I'm seriously, <laughs> I'm thinking about taking a break because like I'll show you the ones that I got done but bear in mind I did like 
four or five other ones and that's like all I've been working on for the last like week so it's getting uh tedious I suppose it's not a hard pattern or anything like that but so the ones that I got done um let's see I'll show you the ones that are spoken for first <clears throat> I got this one done and they're just like little drawstring bags with beads on the ends and that one, these are all done in um, Red Heart Unforgettable. This one, I believe, is called Candy Candy Floss or Candy Cotton Candy or something similar to that. But that's the first one. That one is spoken for. And then this one is in the color called Title, which is also spoken for. And then... Um, the last three are the first three that will be probably in my Etsy shop. This one, which I believe is called Gossamer. Also, like I said, Red Heart Unforgettable. This one, which is um, called Rain Rainforest. And this one, which is Stained Glass in Red Heart Unforgettable. So that's what I've gotten done today. Um, I had the the bags themselves mostly, like I finished this, ooh, I finished this guy this morning, the bag, but um, all the rest of them were done and just needed like their drawstrings and their beads and to be threaded through. So I got that done today. Um, let's see. And then yeah, like I said, um. I played a lot of Pokemon Go today, <laughs> and it was rainy, so, like, I did, like, the lazy Pokemon Go, like, I went and parked downtown, caught some Pokemon, parked somewhere else. <laughs> I know that's, like, super lazy and not the point of the game, but, um, we're doing, like, the October special stuff, and I just really wanted to get it done, so it got done <laughs> in the rain. Um, yeah, and otherwise, I think that's about it as far as my day and everything. How have your guys' days been? Um, yeah, I have got my advent calendar, day number five gift. If you have just joined in to our Vlogtober fun, um, my husband knew that I wanted to do an advent calendar for Halloween and instead of having like a big sum of money to buy it at one time and buy like fancy yarns or whatnot, he went out to different places. Um, I was not with him. I don't know where it's like a mystery to me what he got. Um, it could be Joanne's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. It could be a local yarn shop, I suppose, but I doubt he went to one of those. I'm not sure. Um, it could have been online. I also kind of doubt it, but you never know. And then he wrapped them in all this fun paper that he had found also through the year. Which This is really pretty paper, actually. <laughs> and um, after he was done wrapping, so they were still completely mystery and randomized to Damon. Damon took them and numbered them. And then I got the bag of goodies to open with you guys. So uh, we can see what what my homemade hubby advent calendar contains today. It's really cool to me that you guys um, are into this too and like to see what David picked and um, have given me some advice for like things that I could be making. Like I seriously, seriously love that. <laughs> Ooh, I know what this is. I bet some of you do too. And it's glittery if you can't see that on the camera. And oh my god, I think this is the first day that is not blue since we started. This is... I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby, Metallic. And it is in the colorway... Coral Sparkle. Aptly named. <laughs> See the sparkles? It's this really pretty peachy coral color. That's 
this is probably a little more true to color because my light is shining on it. It's yeah, there we go. Like right in here, this is true to color in the middle part right there. Um, this is obviously from Hobby Lobby because it's the Hobby Lobby brand, which is I love this yarn. Um, it is 97% acrylic and 3% metallic, which is the sparkle. Uh, it is a four weight yarn, which I agree with. This is sort of like a really soft version of Red Heart. Not like Red Heart's gotten a lot better, but this is, um, an even softer version in my opinion of Red Heart. Um, just so you know what to compare the thickness to. Um, this was made in Turkey. It is, I already said a four weight yarn. This is five ounces of yarn, which is 142 grams, which is 252 yards, which is 230 meters. Suggested hook size is an eye, and suggested needle size is a US 8, which is a five millimeter. This would make a really pretty hat, don't you guys think? <laughs> I'm not sure what else, I mean, we'll have to wait and see what else what else is in this advent calendar bag of goodies, but pink sparkle for sure. <laughs> Coral sparkle. <laughs> well done, David. <laughs> I like it. I love it. Um, and then uh, the other thing that I have for you in every uh, episode, hopefully these are still like entertaining or at least something that kind of makes you hmm, upset for a second, but, uh, I don't know, I find the fall season and Halloween holiday and uh, the celebration of Halloween, the celebration of Samhain, the celebration of just the fall in general, and horror movies and everything spooky, I'm, that is all my jam. I'm into every bit of it. So um, I came up, I've, well I've been finding like random trivia that relates to the Halloween fall season. Um, some horror movie things, some tradition things, uh, so far, but just, um, I've said before, my kind of thing that might save you on Final Jeopardy one day or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, today's is another horror movie topic, um, actually back to the original Halloween movie. Did you know what the sound of the stabbing is in the movie? Insert Jeopardy music here. <laughs> um, the sound of the stabbing is made by a knife being plunged into a watermelon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, sorry, I know there's been quite a few, uh, well, it's only been five days, but I know the majority of them so far have been horror movie related, and I am trying to mix it up, I swear, but I also wanted to, like, make it interesting. So uh, hopefully you find it interesting. <laughs> um, gosh, other than that, I believe it is the 19th that Courtney and I, Courtney from Fiber Fox Studios, uh, and I will be starting our 13 days of Halloween, which is like a 13 day, just a little like goodie gift exchange to open up for you guys to see our happy mail palooza. Um, and I think, let's see, last week there was a Hooks and Broomsticks podcast. There probably won't be one this week just because I'm still like, still trying to work on things because these dragon eggs have taken up all of my time <laughs> as you've seen me working on break on them and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I think... I'm going to cut this short and just let my clips from the day hopefully entertain you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm so happy that I've stuck with this and you guys have stuck with me. I noticed several of you are like everyday commenters and I love it. Like, I don't, I know I don't really give you that much to like comment about or go on sometimes, but you are right there and talking to me and I love it so much. And yeah, I just, I appreciate it. So I will just talk to you guys tomorrow. Having a good day, guys. Bye.